Yes, and I also want to acknowledge and uh, welcome the uh, speaker for being here with us and the majority floor leader from the House. The Senate majority floor leader was here and I think is on his way back, uh, Senator Sanchez. We also have the President of the Senate, uh, Senator Mary Kay Papin. Thank you for coming this morning. Uh, the purpose today is to discuss the issues of social justice. And Democrats in both chambers are pursuing a, an aggressive and a really broad agenda focused squarely on social justice. Uh, for too long, the debate seems to have been, you either have social justice or you have economic development. And we're here today with the bills and with the members to tell you that it's not an either or all, either or choice. It's a false choice, because you can have both. You can have social justice and a strong economy. And when you start looking at the legislation that we propose, you'll see exactly how that's done. Um, social justice, not only does it bring fair wages and good working conditions. Social justice also promotes a stable economy for everyone. It creates a state where new and innovative ideas can flourish, where innovative and creative people want to come and live and raise their families and start their businesses. Today we're going to be talking about a number of the bills to be introduced, and I'm going to be doing the, this job uh, with Bill Sewell's uh, freshman senator. Uh, Bill, good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Uh, so we're going to start off to talk about the initiative of the statewide minimum wage. Uh, contrary to what a lot of critics say, businesses can and do thrive with fair uh, minimum wages. Uh, here in Santa Fe, we've seen that that's the case, and I'm going to invite uh, John Chavez, who owns Real Burger, one of my personal favorites, uh, uh, right here in Santa Fe to come join us and discuss the impact of Santa Fe's minimum wage uh, on his retail food business. John, why don't you come on up? Thank you all for being here, and uh, I hope I don't bore you to death, but uh, I think this is a, a subject that has been overlooked and really at the forefront of our economy. I think that uh, <clears throat> the wages starting from the ground up need to be addressed and need to be addressed by employers like myself. I, uh, I've been in business for 28 years on my own, in this business for 36 years. And um, in fact, this is my uh, my anniversary month, uh, February. I uh, I bought Real Burger in '85. But anyhow, since I bought Real Burger, I felt that uh, you know that a fair wage for a good amount of work for a productive job for something that uh, that people are doing and really enjoy, they they need to get compensated for it. And uh, you know, I I truly believe that the uh, that there's better morale, you know, when, when a person is getting compensated for a job well done, uh, both at home and at work, you know, they, they bring the paycheck home to mama and they say, you know, here it is, and if it's too low, you know, she's not going to be happy. And you all know, all you guys know that if mama ain't happy, you know, you know? So it's, it's, it's a widespread morale uh, issue to begin with. You know, and at work, they do a better job. They're, uh, you know, employees are more productive when they're getting paid more, and that—that's um, not only in theory. That's an actuality that I've experienced for the last 28 years. Um, that they do have—they uh, do have better productive levels. You know, when they're getting paid better, um, which makes for a better environment, <clears throat> and it also makes for uh, a decrease in salaries. And and I know that we're talking about increasing, and that's all good. But for the individual that uh, that is working, they need to know that their productivity, their actions, their their hard work is being compensated. If we don't have, you know, an excess amount of employees, then you're able to keep those others that you do have that are being productive at a fair and above a minimum wage, which is what I have done since day one. Um, when I was asked to come speak here, uh, my comment was, well, you know what? This minimum wage doesn't really affect me because I've never had employees that are at minimum wage. You know, um, I feel that the compensation has always been fair and and then some, and I feel that the uh, that the employer statewide should be looking at this um, in a way that uh, that it affects the entire community because in giving the wages to to these employees who are doing a fine job, you know, not only do you create uh, a good community within your business, but a good community within your community where the monies are being distributed. 
uh, it, it just makes sense to me, and it's always worked. I don't have any, um, you know, I, I don't have any plans on on regressing into, you know, a minimum wage scale that doesn't isn't appropriate for people that are, you know, cooking or waiting tables or what have you need to go back to. I, I feel that this needs to be something that we progress in and be, uh, you know, a, a, a topic of a well issue that or address rather that, that is going to be, you know, taken seriously. You know, I think that the, uh, the employers, companies, corporations have had their share of taking advantage of, of people, you know, and I, like I say, I came up through the ranks, I'm sure that many of you have come up through the ranks, and when you were down, you know, starting out in an intro position, you would have liked higher pay, and you would, as you gained <coughs> more knowledge, you wanted more pay for what you knew, and you know, we try to instill in people, the more you know, the more you're worth, well, I don't think that's been the case here in New Mexico as far as the minimum wage is concerned. I think that we really need to address this clothing, food, gas, anything that we purchase is the same price throughout the state. So why are we focusing only on Santa Fe having the wage that what it is, which I think is great, but I think it should be statewide and let these other people, you know, flourish as well as the ones that are here in Santa Fe. Caters as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. Okay. This guy sponsored my team, remember? Yes, I did. Lucky Lucky. Strikes. Yes, I did. And uh, now I'd like to invite uh, Representative Miguel Garcia to discuss House Joint Resolution 6.